but we do have monsters! Oh, what the hell? Just for the record, let's show it. Uh, let's go for Flood here. We'll see what that does. Uh, since that should do damage against the uh, the Red Dragon, you would think. Let's also go for Bahamut. Hey, it did heal the... It did hurt the Red Dragon, but healed the Blue Dragon. Don't know what's up with that, because it definitely wasn't working that way for me before. Oh, and you get two attacks, because you're a dick. Damn you, Red Dragon. Go Bahamut. Kill everything. Kill them, Bahamut. Damn near max damage on both of them. That is why you get Bahamut. Let's go for a cure four. Like I said, not a fan of dragons. Having to fight them. It's, it's stressful, I should say. It's very rewarding when I kill them and I get something. If it's just a random encounter, then it's not nearly as fun. God, it's your turn again. Uh, I don't want to use Bahamut. Let's go for it, and then I'll start. I'll start using Ethers on her if I need to. Go, Bahamut! Destroy the dragons. King of dragons says no to you, dragons. Even though they're bigger, technically. But down go the dragons, thanks to Bahamut. For that fight, we get a hundred and five. 1,200 gil, 17,560 experience. Somebody better be gaining levels. She's learned weak. Very useful technique if if uh, it lands, which is not very often, so I don't use it. And Kane has gained a level. And for that, we get the crystal shield, which is going immediately on to Cecil instead of the samurai shield. That is no longer what you are on. Go Crystal Shield. 6821, 7022. Now, hold on while I do try to get some MP back with all these dragons. You know that we are close to the end of the game. And I've been hinting at it for quite some time. We're close to the end of the game. And we fight more dragons. But let's head over here to another treasure chest with a protect ring in it. That does sound awesome. Let's try to get that on to Rydia. Let's see. 37.27 to 48.31. Quite an upgrade. Quite an upgrade. She is going to be doing most of the damage for me, so I want, want her as good as she can get. Alright. I think I want to actually head south out of here. There are two doors. South was the right way because it leads to this treasure chest with monsters inside. Surely it's not something hard. And in that treasure chest we do get the crystal armor which is also going to be going on Cecil. Now this is definitely the part where you can start using some of your items. I've been saving all my ethers pretty much for this stretch right here. I'm not a fan of this. It's kind of a long dungeon. We got uh, 7022 right now. Now we're up to 7425. That is definitely an improvement. We seem to be going through chests with characters in particular. First we were going through Edge's equipment, then we were going through Kane. Now we're on Cecil. Just everything seems to be coming in bunches like that. And if we head through here, we can head up to another treasure chest. There are a ton of treasure chests in this game, in this dungeon I should say, with very tough enemies. And for that fight you get the crystal gloves, which we are going to be equipping on Cecil, who is swooned right now, unfortunately. Uh, they hit him twice and he didn't have enough MP HP to, to handle that. So we did get the gloves out of that. So from 7425 to 7627. So hold on while I get him back. With that done, let us move on. We need to head to the west further, further down. But we do have a new opponent here. We have a fatal eye. Oh, crap. And now we have to kill the fatal eye pretty damn quickly here because Rosa is on a countdown. And if the, if, well, if we don't kill it in time, she will die. As will 
Cecil now, apparently. Come on, we just need to start doing as much damage as quickly as we can. I don't care what we are doing in terms of uh, what abilities we're using. It doesn't have to be the strongest. We just want to do it before Rosa kicks the bucket, which is looking to be very soon here. Is that going to be enough? No! Damn it! No! Stop casting count! We need you to die! Down! Down goes Rosa. And th there, just just after she goes down, we're able to take it out. We get 65,200 kill, 10,000 experience. Cecil gains a level, and I need to get Rosa back now. With that done, let's continue on. This dungeon is brutal! Let's head into this next room here. And in this room, we can head around here to find the white robe, which is an upgrade for Rosa. Let's get that instead of the sorcerer body armor. We go from 4027 to 4628. Quite an improvement. Quite an improvement there. Let's move on. Let's keep going. Up here. And we can find subterranean level number five, where we find more monsters. Of course we do. We find a fossil dragon, along with a warlock. Now I'm going to assume that this guy is weak to fire as well, because he's made of bones. Bones are always weak against fire. Go flame! He is pretty much. Oh, damn it, curse. I hate curse. Uh, go for psych, sure, why not? Uh, curse, I believe, just like in the other games, in this game lowers your defense. I think I've gone over this before, though. Let's go for fire three. As you can see, I healed Ryan's MP quite a bit there, quite a bit. Let's go for. Uh, yeah, let's go for another flame, why not? We are getting close to a point where, uh, where I can start feeling a little more free with my MP. More than I have been so far, even though by my standards I am overusing it because I had to use ethers. I don't like using ethers if I don't absolutely have to, but at this point of the game there's no real point in trying to keep them too much longer, so I might as well start using them now. And down goes the Warlock. And we get 10,500 gil, 6,480 experience. Kane gains a level. Very nice. And in that chest, we get a crystal helmet. Another upgrade for Cecil, which completes his set. Luckily, we have already started with Rosa, so the sets weren't in perfect order, but it will continue from 77 to 27 to 79, 29. And hopefully, we can find more of Rosa's equipment very, very soon. Now we can head. I believe we can head. Damn it, where am I going? I think. I think there is nothing up there. There is a blue dragon over here, though. Yes, the room I am looking for is not just one step away. Let us head into this right one here, which is where I wanted to go. Now, this is one of those fabled rooms in here. And you can find a cabin in here. This is a room for uh, a side quest that not many people know about. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it. I do want to get into at least one fight here. Hopefully I can show off the enemy that you are looking for. Really? You're just not going to give me a fight at all? Come on. This is the room. It is a very small room. <laughs> I've run around this room so many damn times looking for it. Thank you! Finally a fight! And it, we're, we're in a fight with the Tricker. That is not what I wanted. You can... Okay, he's gonna show his own HP. He's weak against Thunder. Nice job, Tricker. Just going to kill you. This is not the enemy that we are looking for. The enemy that we are looking for is the Pink Puff, as it's known. Um, I assume that he's actually not weak against Thunder, so I'm not going to be using Thunder against him because he is, of course, a tricker. So I assume that he's lying about that. So no Thunder on you. Ah, he's been charmed as well, so 
that works out well. Now, with if you can find a pink puff, um, and there's only one out of 64 chance that it does show up, um, it can give you a one out of 64 chance drop called the pink tail. Now, if you can get the pink tail, I've never been able to get it, to be honest with you. It's just, I can do the math. 64 squared, you know, the inverse of that is not something that I look forward to doing. Uh, I'm going to do that in a bonus video, but we're definitely not going to be doing that uh, right now. Uh, if you can get that, and you can take it back to uh, Silvera, then you can get the best armor in the game. Uh, but this is, like I said, 1 out of 64 squared. That's not something I look forward to doing. But for beating the trigger, we get 10,700 gil, 4,200 experience. Uh, this is the room where you can do it. Once again, if you, if you want to, I, I wouldn't suggest it, though. That's, that is a lot of work. A lot of work. I might show it later on, though. I might show it. Down here in basement number 6, we find two treasure chests and familiar enemies. And in this treasure chest, we can get some more Artemis arrows. Once again, I don't use arrows very much, but those are indeed good ones. And we get a ninja star, another throwing item for Edge, which I will be using eventually, the throwing items. Get a cabin down there, that will be useful as well. Actually, let's head back over here because I forgot about this secret bridge uh, because it is not visible. So we can head over here and go through another secret passage. We was forgetting something on this floor. Through this secret passage, we can head to basement number six. Where here we can find a life potion. Very, very nice. Let's continue heading east here. And over here we can find another teleporter. And as a result of that battle, Radio leveled up again and she has learned Fatal. But if we head over here through the teleporter, and through the other teleporter. And up here we can find ourselves another chest with more monsters! Another behemoth. And for that battle we've earned ourselves a protect ring out of the chest. That's gonna go on Rosa, who is out of MP. And I think that I can get away with not healing her just yet. From 4628 to 5732. Quite an improvement, quite an improvement. But let's head up here and through another teleporter. And we have found a save point. To me, this is long overdue. This has been one hell of a dungeon. And that's going to do it for these parts of Let's Play Final Fantasy IV. I've been Bala Scuba. I've been joined as always by my faithful squad of Edge, Kane, Rosa, Cecil, and Rydia. When we come back, we will continue going through this dungeon. Seems like a final dungeon to me, doesn't it to you? Hope you guys have enjoyed these parts. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.